my childhood was pretty normal. I mean, I think uh, up until about the age of 11, until I moved over here, it was like the best time of my life. There was no thing that gave you stress. Like, school was easy. You just kind of did it and went with it. You did what you wanted to do. At the age of 11, I like started puberty, and that's kind of when I started feeling a bit wrong, is the word I would use. Um, but I kind of just thought it was just puberty because, you know, at that age you don't really talk to other people about it. And I just kind of thought everyone was going through that. I was clinically depressed for a number of years and still haven't really gotten out of that, but um, the depression made me ill and I didn't know why I was ill because I didn't realise depression could do that to you. It just kind of comes with society not being as accepting, not knowing who you are. Whenever someone referred to me as a girl, whenever someone implied that I was a girl, it just felt really wrong and I got sad for like no reason, like I didn't know why. When I first started feeling that I would rather be a guy, I just went with it. I was always just going with the more masculine side of myself and then when I discovered the word transgender, it just kind of clicked straight away. I didn't try and hide it or kind of talk myself out of it. So it was definitely a relief when I found out that other people were going through the same thing. There was actually a word for it. My sister was actually the best with it, like she's the one I came out to first and I, I told her and I was like, I don't know what I was expecting but she was just kind of like, okay cool and then she kind of like left and like, can I leave now? I was like, yeah you can leave now. <laughs> the psychologist I was going to at the time, like they, they actually say, you know, um, younger siblings tend to be the best with people coming out because they just tend to be more accepting. And I kind of just assumed other people would be the same way. Uh, so when I was coming out to them, some of them took a while to get used to it. Some of them thought I was just making it up. Some of them just refused to believe it was a thing at first. And then over the next few months, they would ask questions and they would kind of come around to it. But like, I didn't come out to my friends all at once. It was kind of just like one or two at a time. Telling my parents was like the most nervous I got. And I was like, I need to talk to you guys. And, and I kind of just sat there for a while trying to get up the courage to say something and they were looking at me ex expectantly and I, you know, I was kind of freaking out at that point because I was like, I need to say something now, it's just building up. My coming out was basically I handed them this page you know, from like Wikipedia or something and when I'm transgender and uh, they were like, huh, what's, what's that? And then they read the page and my mum started crying because she knew how difficult life was going to be for me. I know my parents still have um, the odd moment of the worrying because people don't know what transgender is, people don't understand what it is, like trying to find out who you are and then after you've found out who you are, other people questioning that all the time. Back in 2010 when I joined an LGBT group I met my first trans guy there and he was like a really nice guy. I kind of looked up to him as a, a sort of mentor because he was a few years older than me. Within any community you have like your good people and your not so good people. I started meeting some of the not so good people. As a trans man I'm expected to want testosterone, want top surgery, want bottom surgery, uh, bind all the time because I'm meant to hate my chest. I'm meant to pack because I, you know, I'm expected to have a penis. Within like this society of trans guys, you get judged if if you don't do some of those things. Like having fellow trans guys be like, "Well, you're not binding today. That means you must want to be seen as a girl." And it's like, "No, I, I don't." I had a lot of self hate, and when I came to the realization that. I'm a guy and I do have this body, other guys have this body. It, it just, it really helped a lot with feeling insecure and stuff. My friends have said that over the years when they've seen me develop and change that they've said they're really happy for me because they, they've seen how much happier I've become and that was just really nice to hear. <laughs>